Hello guys, welcome to today's class. Nice to have you there. Uh, today we are going to digress a little bit from our usual practical classes to an academic topic. And today we are going to consider the topic chemical industry. Chemical industry is a topic that is drawn from the senior secondary one scheme of work. So at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to define chemical industry, define raw materials, mention some sources of raw materials for the industry and the actual raw materials from these sources, uh, define fine and heavy chemicals, mention some examples of chemical industries and the products from this industry. All right, nice to have you there. Back. So, what is the chemical industry? I'm sure you have used some chemical products like soap, detergent, toothpaste, uh, powder detergents, body cream, body lotion, and the rest of them. Yeah, these products are made in the chemical industry. So, what are chemical industries? Uh, we define a chemical industry as an industry that uses chemical processes to convert raw materials into useful products. By chemical processes, I mean chemical reaction. Chemical reaction um, and then some separation technique to obtain those substances in their pure forms. Alright, um, raw materials. What are raw materials? We define raw materials as the starting materials that are usually in an unrefined form that need to be processed or transformed into more useful products through chemical processes. And we have many sources of raw materials for the chemical industry. We have air as a source of raw material. Air is a source of oxygen and nitrogen. Of course, we use oxygen uh, in combination with a time in welding. We get nitrogen from air and we use nitrogen uh, in combination with hydrogen for the manufacture of ammonia. But the and natural gas are a source of petroleum and natural gas are a source of heat energy. We get petrol or gasoline for automobile, get kerosene, get diesel for diesel engines, we also get petrochemicals from them. Now coal. Coal is another source of uh, heat energy. Coal can be uh, distilled into coke, coal tar, coal gas, and ammoniacal liquid. And coke is used in the extraction of iron, among other things. Coal tar is used in uh, road surfacing. The coal gas is used. We have limestone. Limestone is a source of calcium carbonate and calcium carbonate is used in the manufacture of cement. We have rock salt and seawater. Rock salt and seawater are a source of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is used in sodium metal, the extraction of caustic soda, hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. Sodium hydroxide as caustic soda is a very important chemical that is used in the manufacture of soup. And we have hydrogen gas in the hydrogenation of vegetable oils to make margarine. We have chlorine. Chlorine is used as a bleaching agent for paper and cotton. And we have metallic oils. Metallic oils are sources of metals. Examples are iron ore, like magnetite, hematite, aluminium ore, that is bauxite, tin ore, cassiterite. All these are sources of metals for the industry. Then we have sulfur. Sulfur is found underground. The source of sulfur for the contact process. Contact process is a, as an industrial process that is used in the manufacture of 
sulfuric acid. Sulfur is also used to make insecticide and fumigants. We also have plant and animal based materials. Plant based materials like cotton for the textile industry, timber for the furniture and construction industry. We have corn for the production of animal feed. Animal based products like horns and hooves, we have gelatin, we have hair and feather, we have hide and skin. Now, division of the chemical industry. Um, we have two kinds of chemicals that are produced in the industry. We have heavy chemicals and have fine chemicals. Heavy chemicals are chemicals that are produced and used in large quantities by the chemical industry. Examples are sulfuric acid, limestone, coffee soda, ammonia, trioxanoid acid, etc. We have fine chemicals. These are chemicals that are produced in relatively small quantities but with a very high degree of purity for the, uh, in the chemical industry. Examples of fine chemicals are analytical chemicals, drugs, preservatives, etc. Now, environmental pollution caused by the chemical industry. Um, the chemical industry causes air pollution. They emit dangerous gases like some oxide, nitrogen oxide. These substances can cause acid rain. We have greenhouse gas emission. There are some industries that will emit carbon dioxide, methane, and these substances are what we call greenhouse gases, which cause global warming. We have water pollution. There are some industries that discharge their wastewater into water bodies, and this causes water pollution. There's soil pollution. We have industries uh, that may carelessly discard their chemicals on the land and this will cause soil pollution. Depletion of ozone layer. Ozone layer depletion is caused by a family of compounds called chlorofluorocarbons. Chlorofluorocarbons. These substances are used as refrigerant in the fridge, air conditioners. And when they get to the atmosphere, they become reactive and then attack the ozone layer, causing its depletion. Because we know the harmful effect of ozone layer depletion are humans on edge. Then we have factors that determine the siting of the chemical industry in the place. What necessitates the siting of the chemical industry in the place? We have nearness to the source of raw materials. We have uh, availability of space, availability of market, availability of uh, labor, good climatic conditions, good transport system, and good government policy. Alright. Thank you very much.